Less than 24 hours after Iraqi military installations housing American troops and coalition forces were hit, Donald Trump, the U.S. president, announced that for now, he would strike back economically. As we continue to evaluate options in response to Iranian aggression, the United States will immediately impose additional punishing economic sanctions on the Iranian regime. These powerful sanctions will remain until Iran changes its behavior. On Capitol Hill, leading Republican lawmakers on Wednesday praised Trump for what they called his restraint. We must remain vigilant in the face of serious threats posed by Tehran. Apparently, these strikes did not kill or wound Americans, but they demonstrate the significant progress Iran has made over the last decade in building a large, long-range and accurate ballistic missile force. These images show the extent of the damage to the Ain al-Assad Air Base in western Iraq after it was hit by missiles fired from inside Iran. Missiles Trump said Iran only had thanks to the Obama administration releasing frozen Iranian assets as part of the nuclear deal between Tehran and world powers. Former Obama officials slammed the suggestion. This is another series of despicable lies by President Trump. Uh, the fact that three and a half years after taking office, uh, he remains, or three years after taking office, he remains obsessed with President Obama just shows President Trump's extreme weakness and insecurity. Expecting an attack, retaliation by Iran for the U.S. killing of General Qasem Soleimani last Friday, NATO this week announced it was relocating some of its forces from Iraq to elsewhere in the Middle East. Trump on Wednesday urged the Atlantic Military Alliance to get more involved in the region, not less. Trump also used his address to call on Iran to work with the U.S. on issues of common interest like the fight against ISIL. He said a new deal with world powers was needed, one that could guarantee global security and Iranian prosperity, and he suggested he's ready to sit down and talk if they are. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.